<laughs> but the most crowded was at a mall. It's in the Kansas City area. It's now closed. Uh, for you people that live in the Kansas City area, if you guys remember Bannister Mall, oh, I remember awful. having this costume. And uh, imagine this. So my my head mm-hmm. is is painted like a skeleton, right? Uh-huh. And then on either side of like my head face. is two yeah. blow up skeleton faces. Uh-huh. So and you kind of wore that as a costume, so it looked like looks I was like a three-headed, three-headed skeleton. skeleton. That's pretty badass. And um, yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty good for the eighties. Yeah, that's what we had back then. Yeah. Wait, now, can you set this up so it shows the big thing? Sorry. The what? The big screen on the cam- on the monitor. Sorry. I, I oh I'm yeah I see what yeah that's uh, it's in house it's, jargon yeah got yeah. it. <laughs> I didn't know how to get your attention. There you go. Thank you, sir. So, Elhurt says, what painting are you working on? I'm working on um, a little mini painting. I'm working on a handful of them, actually, because I'm going to um, put up some of these on my patron exclusive shopping section at strangeling.com. It's been a while since I've put up a batch of mini paintings, and since we haven't had any conventions or live art shows, I wanted to put something up for Patreon people. So, I'm putting those up probably this week once I get a few more done, depending on how much work I It's going to be a done. very busy week. Yeah, we've got a lot happening this week, don't we? Yeah. My gosh. I guess technically it's a holiday weekend, too, isn't it? I used a pillowcase as my bag, but then again, that was trick-or-treat in Salem. Cool. Oh, man, how many... You weren't... I guess you weren't here last Halloween... uh, That evening. You were out at the movies and stuff, but... um, Yeah. Last year... Did we get, I got like 1,200 trick-or-treaters. I mean, it was insane. It was like really, really ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Yeah. We went through so much. Remember all the candy we went through and then we were out after like an hour and a half? Yeah. Uh, it's a, it was a Costco trip. Yeah. It's crazy. People were out like in our front yard sitting in lawn chairs and just taking pictures of all the trick-or-treaters going by. It was crazy. Yeah, I was thinking about um going around way earlier than Halloween mm-hmm. and just uh, taking photos of people's houses, maybe even putting in them a slideshow here. Oh, here. Oh, oh yeah. Um, yeah. Our town is, our town is crazy all out uh, as far as uh, but, we have a lot of, oh, of the Imagineers for following from Disney dumb here and they'll be like animatronics and crazy, crazy stuff. I don't know how crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure what it'll be like this year, but people are already decorating, and that's nice. I was going to say, the houses around here are super decorated already. A lot of them. Not ours, so. And that, I think Halloween is on a Friday this year. I don't know. I I remember that from a meme. (laughs) Like, I saw in January. That's a Saturday. Okay. It'd have to be a Saturday. Today's the 11th, and it's a Sunday. Right? Ah. Yeah, they said Saturday, yeah. okay. so I don't remember the meme very well, apparently. Gotcha. It could have been Definitely an old do meme. that, as we in the UK don't really get that. Oh, the trick or treaters. Oh, I, I see. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I remember telling them. Um, the time we're there. I remember telling England. someone um, in the UK, uh, they posted a something about trick or treating, and I said, uh-huh. "Well, I, I think it's cool how I've seen." Halloween evolve in the UK since I've been traveling there because at first a lot of people didn't go trick or treating at all mm-hmm. and now it's been more a little bit more each year and they said well we've had Halloween here for like you know whatever you know for like centuries and mm-hmm. I said well you're t- I think you're referring to like more of a saw one thing I'm talking mm-hmm. about the commercialization oh. of Halloween yeah and it's like it's kids going it's very much an American thing and I uh if you remember the a bit of Fry and Lori, <laughs> where they I like that one, yeah. they say how to deal with trick or treaters yeah. and they act very nice to them at first and they yeah. say and then they go on and they're say not bloody Americans right yeah <laughs> we're not bloody Americans get out of here so yeah. that's how trick or treating was in the nineties uh, viewed in the UK. <laughs> well, I think it's interesting to see in my lifetime how much it's changed, like in Asia. Oh, it's going to be a full moon. Like remember when? Halloween. Oh, oh, duh. Yeah, it would be. But, like, when we first went to Japan, they hardly had any sort of Halloween stuff, it seems like. And then, uh, decade on, it's like Disney's got Halloween parades and stuff going on. It 
Tokyo and all that. Uh, Leela says we keep a Grim Reaper by the door for trick or treaters. Oh. A talking Grim Reaper. It probably goes, ha, 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 I'll take your soul, or something oh. like that. Oh. It started as they would have to dance or do a skit to get a treat. Yeah. Yeah. Trick for trick for a treat or something like that. I forget, but it was a. You know, I have heard so many colloquial sort of origin stories for Halloween and trick or treating. I don't even know what to hear anymore. Well, I suppose as a poor crappy kid from the Midwest, <laughs> I would have danced for a Snickers. I mean, yeah, that was the only time that was right amazing. One, man. Yeah, no kidding. A blue moon. So it's a blue. It's a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. It's because there's two full moons this month, yeah? That's when it's a blue moon. Gosh, um... Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. And when there, are, when there are two full moons that fall in the same calendar oh, month, okay. it's a blue moon. Oh, okay. I so bet that happens on Halloween. Um, Every time there's a full moon, it would be a blue, blue moon on Halloween, huh? I, uh, no, it could happen on the 30... Oh, but Halloween, it, it could... It would, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It has to. That yeah. would be. Unless. Whenever there's a full moon. We destroy the laws of physics. Which I'm up for, actually. Physics, what's that? Which I'm up for. Let's let's destroy those laws of physics. Oh, don't get me Yes, started. there was our, there was a full moon already this month. Yep. Cool. Let's Gosh. squeeze them in. I don't know, man. Full moons mess with me. Yep. Blue moon as it's a second full moon in the month. Lots of witches in the room. We know it. Hey, Jasmine and Matt. Hey. People's in and out tonight. Busy cooking, and I got a nip to the shop. <laughs> okay, Kazumaka. Have fun in your shop nipping. That's, a, that's a, just a cheerful way of going on a nice little jaunt there. Yeah. Uh, I had to explain to my best friend who she was that house because she gives out full-size candy bars. She didn't understand that that made her a big deal. Oh. I... I think that's from a conversation before. Okay. I are they're just referring to a that old chestnut of a idea. That's the house right yeah. there. Those are the people on, the ones on the hill, the rich people, the only rich people in town. Full they give away full Snickers. Bars. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, if you live in a town, and there are many of these, which only get like ten trick or treaters, you could get full Snickers, right? <laughs> If you get 1,200 trick-or-treaters, it, like, really starts nipping into your monthly grocery bill. I don't know. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's what... Yeah, it's just... It's wacky. I give out full-size candy bars because I live in a ta long driveway, oh. and they deserve it after walking all that way. Oh, that's very sweet that's, of you. You know, you gotta get your energy. And that's Crispy Critter. That's awesome. Well, gosh, uh, yeah, we, um, we're we sending out uh, the Patreon pins. I'm going to start. Oh, my gosh. I'm yeah. going to start uh, sending those out. to. Um, well, printing the labels tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow is a holiday. It's Columbus Day. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. But it's one of our bank holiday, three-day weekends things. We've got Memorial Day, Labor Day, Martin Luther King, and Columbus Day, I think, is... Those are three-day weekends. I think if, there might be other ones. I don't President's know. President's Day? I don't remember. I don't know either. But yeah, it's, I don't it's, really it's nice exactly to... I mean, I guess it's nice Columbus to have a day off, but I'm not going to have a day off. No, no. God, no. That's okay. I get days off on weird days. That's true. Do you guys know when the Patreon... When's the Patreon date for the mini canvases? What's a mini canvas? I'm not sure... Vampy, I'm not sure what you mean by mini canvas. Have to tell us what a mini canvas is. is you, they mean like a um, ACEOs, maybe? Is I, that what they mean? They said or, Patreon date. Oh, Patreon. I don't know what that means. Even if I had 1,200 trick or treaters, if I had the money, I'd give out full size Snickers Milky Way. Hmm. Well, I suppose if we all had the spare money, we would. <laughs> That's true. Having the money is just like, yeah. Yeah. The little painting you are doing right now. Oh no, these aren't. These are on wood. They're not canvases. Um, these are original paintings. Um, these I don't know. Depends when I finish them. Oh, I'll, that's fine, <laughs> Vampy. I'll, 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 cool. um, I'll post them. Um, I'll definitely let the Patreon people know ahead of time when I'm going to. So those of you who 
like to get the website open and, and hit refresh over and over again and then stick them in there you can so you know when to get ready for it definitely so probably sometime this week i'm sure i'll probably let me think i'll probably do one of my patreon crowdcast pink cam thingies in the next couple days too and that might be when i finish up working on these and start varnishing them and matt can frame them or, yeah the, um yeah. i was uh i was working uh at the office kind of watching watching you paint oh when i was and, doing my yeah my pink cam yeah <laughs> and um from across town <laughs> yeah it's, it's so much different than the the twitch yeah well just me I, I don't i can't i you know i'm just sitting here painting it's not like i can have a microphone and read things while i'm painting i mean if i did i'd probably you wouldn't get a lot i wouldn't done. get much done and then it's yeah. like why am i doing one fourth of my work just so two people can watch me paint <laughs> no. yeah but a, a lot of artists do do it by themselves they just kind of talk about the process constantly as if bob, like bob ross does oh uh, then well, they stop and they have to like look at the screen so i'd have to like keep bit. getting up and looking at the computer and stop painting and... no no when yeah. it's just me here and i'm doing the paint cams during the week i'm not gonna have right that. but that's what that's, that's what people that. do, do no that's when i'm working folks yeah that's i gotta paint and actually get work done yeah sometimes too. It's fun, though, and I'm, I'm happy people like watching me when I'm working. That's awesome. Angela says, I love being able to see how you mix colors via the paint cam. Oh, yeah. I like seeing that, too. I don't know, I don't know if I do it the same way everybody does, but I like watching artists make, mix colors in general. Everybody's got kind of their own technique going on. Yeah, I, I suppose that's fun. <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Alex is really good at chatting and working. I don't know how he does it. I can chat and work, but I can't keep crossing oh, that's the lazy. room looking at a computer. Poppy glitter sparkles oh, is lazy. Alex, uh, oh, that Alex, yeah. It's so soothing to watch. Yeah. Well, uh, Changed yeah, there's some people who just want to explain their method. And people don't, people often... I mean, I think it's the combo of, it's the whole Bob Ross thing. It's the yeah. combo of him explaining it as he's doing it. And you could be following along, but I would imagine that 98% well, think... of the people that are watching Bob Ross at any one given time uh -huh. are not are painting. Not painting? Yeah. They're just kind of chilling oh, out. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, it's this, this isn't that sort of thing here. <laughs> Kendra says, I would see her pick a color and try to guess where she was going to use it. I was wrong so many times. That's funny. I know it's funny because when when we're not doing the Twitch thing, when it's not live, I don't really think very much about the camera being on because there isn't any audio or anything, and I'm the only one here. So it's very it's easy for me to forget that the camera is there sometimes. So if you see me working for like ten hours straight or whatever, or actually it cuts me off after six hours on that one, doesn't it? Is that what it is? Six hours? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, six hours and um. And that's on the crowd count. Yeah. Patreon things. So that's um. In forty, only forty hours a month. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So if you did like five, five, two five-hour sessions a week, you'd be good. Okay. All right. I did. Or you do know a six that. and a two, or you know whatever. Yeah, I gotcha. I didn't know that. I might not have done it's a six-hour. The thing, one the, the other cool day. thing about <laughs> Crowdcast for us is how it's uh connected directly directly to patreon yeah so yeah, that it makes, makes it easier for, for our people. um for your viewers to, to, to get right alerts to and whatever it's, it's very integrated yeah um that's why we chose to go with it otherwise we'd have to it'd be a lot more clicks and mess messing around Signing and up for setting up and downloading it, apps exactly and getting mad just thinking about Uh, Kieran says, hello, Jazz and Matt and everyone else in the chat today. I'm joining um, you on Twitch on my new laptop that I got for my birthday in July. Oh, Very cool. excellent. New laptops are fun. I know. It's like, yay, this is fast and it works well. <laughs> yay. And then like a month later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a few new laptops. 
I'm trying to think. We have a like we new laptop that time. works our I Twitch, and I have uh, a yeah. new one because my my processor on my old laptop is bad, and oh. my screen is broken. So I can only hook it up to a monitor, but my new laptop's awesome. It works really good. I keep mine attached to a monitor because I don't like the screen on it. <laughs> Oh, so Lacey's heading out. Oh, bye, Lacey. All right, so we got a raffle, and oh. that is uh, in 40 minutes. Oh, okay. And I already got my alarm going on that. In the raffle? What's the first one for? Isn't the it, first is it, one is, is for, for out trick-or-treating. Okay, isn't, aren't we doing the calendars? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hey, guys, this is really cool. So, <laughs> okay. in addition... Um, this is very special. So in addition for the person that wins the uh, print of the week, you also get a mini calendar. Yeah. So Jasmine, can you show off that mini calendar? Yeah. And I've got a link. If um, I'm going to put up two links, guys. Yeah. One is for uh, Amazon. And the other one is for calendars.com. Calendars.com ships internationally. Mm -hmm. And um, Amazon.com is a, a better price for you domestic folk. Yeah. Like, like your domestic cows. So I'm going to put up two links. It's all and shiny this year. <laughs> this is a mini one. We also have the big calendars. Yeah, it and has those... a neat, neat uh, details on the front. Yeah, it's all... How it's would all... you describe those? Um, I would describe it as silver foil and embossed, but what do I know? It's sparkly. And the big one is like that, too. This is the mini one, and it's, it's a proper calendar. It's like a... Here's the back. It shows you all the pictures that are in it. It doesn't have a specific theme. It just got different ones for different months. So the mini calendar is, the mini is really just a tiny version of the big one, right? Nope. They're all different pictures. <laughs> they're all different pictures? Yo. Wow. Yeah. No way. Sorry. Yeah. You gotta get both. They're super cheap, though. I think they're only like, how are they, $7 or something? They're on Amazon, and they have them like for free one-day shipping and stuff, too. But you got pictures for Oh, Jeanette's like, yay, I won the big calendar once. Yay. And I, I can even autograph them, can I? So they both have different photos. I believe so. That if, is if so they cool. they don't, I'm going to feel do. stupid. But, oh, yeah, these are completely different pictures. I, I got to oh, pretend to be surprised. Like, on Twitch, huh? I got to Never mind. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, some of these are ones I painted up here on Twitch. I remember painting this one. Yeah, they're um, $8 for the small. I think that's a good deal. I think so. And uh, the, here's, this is the big one. It's a lot bigger. It's um, it's sparkly, too. I don't know if you all can see that, but check it out. Oh, yeah, that rocks. Isn't it? it? It's it's produced so nicely. These are made in England. They're um, produced by um, Flame Tree Publishing is the company that makes You know, those these. mini ones are just about perfect for a cubicle. Y yeah, I think that's kind of what they're supposed to be, like, for work or school or whatever. Oh, Gosh, it's hard. It's hard to show. It's quite large. I don't get paint on it, but it's good. And we'll be um, doing this for a, a couple weeks. We'll be combining. Yeah, um, they, they sent us a few um, to give away, so we'll be doing that for probably the next several Twitch. Right. So the person that wins like. the the pin on the uh -huh. next raffle gets a big old calendar. They get a too. big calendar. And so Jasmine, will you sign that for them? Yeah, I will totally okay. sign it. Yeah, sure. If, if whenever there's anything that I can like reach with my hand and I have a pen handy, I am happy to sign it. Excellent. Good Always. to know. So the first person in the raffle will win the um, out trick or treating, and I will sign the print too, and the mini calendar. And second raffle gets the pen of the not the week, the month. Get that little bug uh, I don't know. I set them oh, by. Yes. You found them? Yeah. It's the pumpkin spice dragon. Pumpkin. Yes. Woo! And a new Patreon folk will be getting this. Yeah. Uh, you'll be getting your notifications soon. Yeah, you'll get your shipping thingy, and he'll be the easy October pin of the month. We'll put these up on strangeling.com also sometime this week, probably in the next day or two. Yeah, yeah. I like to, I like for next the Patreon days. people to yeah, get theirs the first, get and there. then um, absolutely have it available for the public. Yeah. So the next, sorry, we'll get that and this, woo, dragons. And then the last prize thingy of the day is when we do the prize spinning wheel in. So we don't know what that prize is. Might even be an original painting. If it is, oh, it I will probably be one of these because that's what I got. So yes, excellent. Uh, people, A lot of people have the calendars and um, Jewel has a, uh, or Julep rather, has mm -hmm. a question. Oh, it's something. What company do you use to print the calendars? I don't use any 
company to print the calendar. But what company, company has licensed? Uh, they actually, it's a publisher. They publish okay. it. They pay me to publish. They, it is called Flame Tree Publishing. And they, every year, license my artwork from me to make beautiful calendars. They're a British company, but they send these worldwide. I really, really like them. They're super nice. Uh, they 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 come to the London Book Fair every year, and they're 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 nice people. I like them. So those are available pretty much worldwide. If you go to calendars.com, they'll ship them anywhere. And those are, I think they're still pre-ordered there because technically, I think other than Amazon, I think places aren't supposed to sell them until like the twentieth or something. I don't remember. It, it is so impossible to try to keep track of every country's release date for everything. I'm glad I caught you all live again, says Glenda. Yay! Well, so, um, we'll, uh, the next, I don't know, a uh, couple months, we'll be giving these away. Yep, we'll have those calendars to give away. Usually, we have our giveaway ones, and we give them at away like, to the first 25 people who run up to us at Dragon Con and furtively hand them out to everybody but yeah this year there is no dragon con so we're gonna give them away virtually oh have fun you're on your walk kelly sarah may i ask what the pin for november is please yes the pin for november you know i don't have it handy but it's going to be green mermaid triplet which is green the mermaid name of a, I'll, I'll put a link up yeah, to the, say, uh, the, of the image of mine so if you if you guys know the painting you can probably kind of guess what the um pins will look like cause also could you show the uh strangeling pin yeah this is the this is also this, this is coming yeah, with your are, uh, patreon package yeah, you patreon, patreon only people. this is oh, oh, yeah the logo Exclusive. one is only for patreon oh shoot the screen i don't think the camera's on okay maybe. i'll it's being i wonder how today. long it's been like that i don't know oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's if if y'all ever see the um, screen freeze up, yeah, just, just let me let know. Matt know in the room. And it only takes me a second to yeah. fix it. In fact, I, I'm, it's very I'm wondering if I can even set up a button here. Like a macro or a, a, scre a screen? A little screen button or, on my yeah. fun can machine thing. Can you make the, the screen big again when you're done? You bet. Thank you, babe. There we go. All right, let me put up... What was I doing here? What are you doing? The mermaid triplets. Green. Oh, the green mermaid triplets. Yes. Yep. That will be the November pin of the month, and it's it's they're together as one pin. It's not like three different pins. If you look at it, you can see there's like one mermaid in front of her two little sister mermaids, and kind of turn them into. Everybody said there was no screen freeze at all. There was what? Everyone said there was no screen freeze at all. Maybe they haven't seen it yet because when I put this here, it was showing an old picture. They of probably didn't hand, notice so it. It might not even, they might be on yeah, the Yeah, uh, just, so the, just the one that shows Jasmine's hands, guys. Sometimes that one. Um, yeah, it this is one a, here is probably fine. It is a much more like, high definition here. camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, for some reason, it likes to uh, freeze sometimes. I do. But actually, I don't know if I can get the light. That pin is going to be great. Yes, it's a cool. Yeah, pe people. Uh, it's my logo, and that is for yeah. th that's only for Patreon patrons, and they're sending that out along with your October pin. Of the you month, can wear it with pride. Pumpkin spice dragon, <laughs> so you get both. And if you're not a Patreon pin collector yet, if you sign up, you'll start off with these two. So that's pretty cool. So if you were, if like people, you're wearing your lanyard, and you're like, "What is that? What what is, is <laughs> what are those those pins?" You could say, "Well, it's, these. it's this." <laughs> Aw, Katie likes uh, the logo one. Oh, thank you. And Angela's happy that you did a logo. Yeah. Concerning the mini paintings, do you only make one of these or do you make copies? I, I make one paint, one actual painting, and then what we do is we make one single little ACEO print. On Explain canvas. what an ACEO is. ACEO if you can. stands for Art Cards, Editions, and Originals. It is one single miniature canvas that I make of each one. And those I put up for eBay for auction that the public can bin on the the one single hand embellished. I put little details on it, but it is a print on canvas. This is the actual painting on a piece of wood. <laughs> the dragon head is now a quadrilogy. Yes, it is. So what do we got? We got the pink one. We There's got the, the, one, the rainbow, one, rainbow one. We got one, the dragon con, con one, one. And this one. And this one. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
And then, yeah, there's a couple other ones I want to do eventually, but I don't want to spam people with too many dragons for a while. Uh, Kieran says his new laptop's awesome, and he talks about all this tech stuff. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to mean anything to me or Jasmine, but yay, Kieran! <laughs> I'm happy it's good and has neat tenth generation stuff. I'm. I know Ellie. It got comes a, from a um, long line of of uh, processors there. Ellie got it, and our niece got a new iPad fancy whatever those are i forget what it, what is it called i don't know i don't know i've got the like one of the world's oldest ipads the logo is going to um Literally. buttercup says the logo is going on my pin board cool. on top right in the middle it's gonna look amazing oh Yay. that's true i didn't even really think about that like from a design perspective that'd be a good thing to put it like in the middle with all the pins around it or whatever will you be doing any more mystery pack pin releases yeah <laughs> stay tuned Yes, we will. Gotta Do you a... want to kill Matt with oh, <laughs> just of, massive amounts of speaking of, of pins? No, we have um, we do have the mini metal pin set six. I got um, did I have that here? Oh yeah, it's right there. Okay, yeah. sorry. Bum, 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 bum. And these are going up on Strangeling.com this week. Patreon people, you know, because I posted what date and time. Everybody else, it, they're going up this week on strangeling.com. I'll let y'all know when they're out. But there, there's only 250 of them, and I, and they're going to be numbered. So they go fast, so I don't like to tell the public when they come out so people can be surprised. But Patreon people can find out now. And it's so automated. Yeah, it's Angel what? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Go ahead. No, yeah. please, please continue. But these are the, yeah, these are the metal offset printed pins that are super cute, and they're based off the faces of fairy. This is the... Halloween one for this year, sort of. So I've got a little bat one and a couple, a jack-o'-lantern and some standard pumpkins and a little witch with orange stars on her hat. And these will be our ones for Halloween this year. Kieran says, I see that you're not tech savvy. Actually, I'm, I have <laughs> areas where I am and areas where I could just, yeah. I don't, I'm not into it. So. I am not. I can barely use a telephone. Sorry if this is a repeat question, but what is the release date on the mini paintings? It depends when I paint them. I'm still working on them now. So um, some probably sometime this week, I will let my Patreon patrons know ahead of time what date and time it will be. So if you guys would like to set timers or mark it on your calendar so you can make sure that you're there when you're seeing them pop up, I'll definitely let you know at least a day ahead of time. But I, I, if I were to guess it sometime this week, just depends when I finish them. And Craig asks, Jasmine, where do you get your inspiration for painting such wonderful things? Oh, well, it, that really kind of depends on which painting it is. Um, some of my paintings have stories behind them. Usually when it's little miniature paintings like this, these are kind of intended to be character, like character studies or small preparatory works for larger pieces later. But if you have questions about any specific ones, I can go on and on and on and on until Matt shuts me up. <laughs> And Bianca says, uh, happy to see a painting. Oh, good to see you, Bianca. And we're sitting at 93 viewers. Ooh, nice. Hey, everybody. I wonder how many of them have their sound up. I don't know. I don't know. That would be kind of weird if it, like, said how many people were listeners also. Oh, uh, that'd be too, that'd be too <laughs> 1984. I wouldn't want to know that info. You don't want to know. I want, yeah. I want them to have some level of privacy. Yeah. I mean, I know that you can lurk on here. You just don't get prizes if uh, you don't. Oh, if, yeah, yeah if you that's true. If you are in the room, you don't follow. Oh, no, people are more than welcome. The little work. painting with the dragon has my hair color today. Oh, really? Ooh. Wow, that's nice. Got my little pony slash Farrah faucet going on. My hair is blonde with, with spacklings of gray. Are you talking or are you reading somebody else? I'm re saying it for myself. <laughs> okay. Hi, it's been lovely to see you painting each week, says Bianca. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mimi says, hi, Jazz on Matt. I'm listening. Hee <laughs> hee. Hi, Mimi. That's what we should do. We should, like, ask questions vocally that we do not type in the chat room. Any f films on the slate for Halloween watching? Oh, oh, uh, Ooh, gosh. Uh, like you know, there's watching. a new Clive Barker. Uh, I think it's supposed to be kind of an anthology movie. Is it, is um, it the one that's like three different Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Around. That's how it described it. And I'm excited to see that. Yeah. Um, I forget what it's called. I'm sure that 
my movie nerds in the room, either Katie <laughs> or Blob, no. Um, yeah. But yeah, I was I um, want to see that the new Clive Barker thing. Is that one that's like on a on a t- <laughs> on the Magic TV channels? It's on the Magic TV. Oh, yeah, it's a streaming yeah. uh, thing. I think uh, that I saw it on Prime. I'm not sure if it's included or not, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm totally gonna pay three, four, five, ten bucks to see the Clive Barker film. Clive Barker Clive Barker, even when I don't particularly mm, there's some films that I'm like I still don't get. Oh, but I they're, like which one? they're I've mentioned on here before Nightbreed. Oh. <laughs> um but other people have beaten me down uh-huh. senselessly that I that I've said that. So I've tried to watch it yeah. again, and I, I had the same impression. I did this probably about fifteen years ago. Uh-huh. I, if maybe I have maybe I've matured since then. Um, I'd love to get I'd love to uh, give it another try again. If you guys remember, there was uh, Marvel Comics. Every single Marvel comic I was collecting at the time, and I think this was the very early 90s had an insert and the insert had a like a multi-folded thing about the size of jazz a little bit Is bigger than the... the size of jasmine's minis yeah like her mini print sizes did they and have it in fangoria also probably as an advert like leading up to when probably the that and been. Yeah. you could rip them out and they had character profiles for each of these monsters <laughs> and there was like one guy named lude and he has these devil horns and they were building them up like they were almost a like this team of awesome monsters and then uh and i collected them and they were the same thing over and over and i just i would read them and i look at them and i'd say this movie is going to be the best thing ever and it did not live up to sorry, that babe. maddie and maddie hype that i had in my brain or- so i really hyped it up for myself so i i apologize um to <laughs> It, it was really good marketing, though. Yeah. I really like. wanted to see it. I could not yeah. be... I don't know if anyone else remembers... It. Said, oh, yes, the posters. It wasn't a poster, though. It was more like it folded out. And it was... Uh, imagine it's like about four by six. Mm-hmm. And those folded out into about... I don't know. Five four by sixes on mm-hmm. both sides. They had like a monster with a profile. There's a porcupine woman. A, 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 a guy with a... Like weird fish face and i just it was great but you're saying that even if it's bad clive barker you'll watch it there's clive something barker. about yeah. the clive barker yeah. yucky always an alternate plane where there's these well we're kind of that yucky way with, guys like, cronenberg stuff too the cronenberg you know, stuff like, yeah. yeah even if it's not the best cronenberg movie it's still you know gonna have right Hell, hellraiser is definitely <laughs> i would say the the uh, uh clive barker's best stuff um, as, I recently watched well, one through five. As far as films go, do you read any of his books or short stories? No, um, I've, re- I've, re- I've read uh, several of his short stories. I haven't read the, like Hellraiser books or anything like that. So I, I don't know. I uh, yes, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know what it's called. Um, SME says I, I um, just your calendar for the first. I maybe just got your calendar for the first time last winter. I definitely will get one for 2021. Yeah. I also have one of your masks that I wear proudly. Your talent has amazed oh, yeah. me like no other. Aw, oh, that's oh, very sweet, you. SME. Thank you very much. The best story is The Thief of Always. Oh, oh yeah. Um, you yeah, know, I I, I, I have that. not read that, but I, I remember hearing that from a few people. Yeah, I have, the, I have that. It's in, um, it's, uh, what's in that? Is that in, Ma- not in Magicka, is it? I, I don't know. Oh. Well, clearly, I was trying to tell you. <laughs> I but yeah, Cl- but Clive Barker's. Um, I'm. I've had a couple conversations with him on Twitter, and he seems to be a really cool dude. So, and I like his name, Clive. Sounds like Cleve. It's a Britishy sounding. It's 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 very. It's, I was it's, gonna say that's like our dorm our dormian's name in England. Clive, it, it is. is. Yeah. It, I li- it sounds like a joke, but it's true. I like the Halloween <laughs> Hellraiser movie. I have not. I don't think I've seen that. Which one's the Halloween one? I'm not sure. I think when I was watching them, the last one I watched was when they tried the guy tried to trap Pinhead in space. I think that's part five. Is that the one you watched without me like a few weeks ago? Yeah. And we had watched 
Which one did we, we just You watch? watched one and two with me. Yeah. And you fell asleep <laughs> yeah. through two, and I don't know if you were up for all of one. So it was basically <laughs> me just I've seen kind of wa- That's part four. Like, okay, then I probably saw that. I hope you do another tarot deck. Me too. I know. Everyone knows that's part four. <laughs> Obviously, Matt. No, I'll be doing um, another Oracle deck. I am not sure of the official theme of it. I do think that the next coloring book I'm doing is a dragon themed one, though. So there might be some a handful more dragon stuff soon. Leela says she has a replica of the Hellraiser box. Cool. Very cool. Oh, those puzzle box things are neat. Yeah, I've puzzle seen, boxes. I've seen a rocks. handful of I like artisans make them at run fairs and conventions and stuff, and those are always cool. So that's what makes him cool, much like a, a Tim Burton or a Cronenberg to, to not as much of an extent. They kind of have their own style. Yeah. So uh, Clive Barker likes a lot. A lot of things are skinned with Clive Barker. Yeah. And um, his the monsters that are in like something like the Wishmaster are reminiscent of something from Hellraiser, but not quite of it. The Wishmaster, I also find. Wishmaster was that was that campy? I know Wes Craven. Was that Wes Craven or That's was that Wes Craven? That's not. Um... Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm. Well, unless Clive Barker like. That wrote was a, was it that Wes Craven? Craven hey. Like, I'm not. Cool. I'm not an ultimate horror nerd. No, I'm I, not I do either, admit to that. Horror, I, horror. As much as I like it, I I haven't nerded out on it as much I as do I to probably some should. Extent. It, it, it's probably my West, favorite. West Craven yeah, did I, Wishmaster. Okay, yeah, I apologize. I I Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. but, uh, it it kind of had elements of how a creature pops up mm-hmm. and won't quit messing with you. Yeah. Because of a a magical item. Yeah. And that's um, it, definitely it, it, Hellraiser. It's got that kind of, of, not cautionary tale, but like. Yeah, Fre- Freddy to me, I'll, I'll tell you what, guys. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not really into slasher movies so no, much. Yeah. I think they're funny. But I made, I a, I I made a very bad mistake once, but I, I but I did it to my dad, so I don't care. Mm. And I've told Jasmine this story a couple mm-hmm. times. So I was. Oh, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, <laughs> so I was watching TV Sorry. and a, a commercial, this is. Uh, probably 1988. 1984. I think it's 1988. No, okay. Yeah, I was 14, pro- 13 or yeah, yeah. I was probably 14, and I uh, saw a a commercial that says, "Call Freddy Krueger to get your own nightmare." <laughs> I'm like, whatever. That was a one nine hundred number. I don't oh, even know. If, does do one nine hundred numbers didn't still exist? Make, didn't they make them illegal? Like. A few years ago, because of auto dialing schemes or something? no idea. I don't know. Maybe but this was a one nine hundred number, and it was on my it was my father's crazy. line, so I could, yeah. I could, I didn't care. Oh. Um, and I called it. Take that. <laughs> and basically, I called the one nine hundred number, and it was, it didn't even have an intro. It was in the midst of a probably an ongoing recording, and Freddy Krueger's sound quality was. So utterly awful. I doubt that Robert England um, oh, spent no. the time I'm on this. I'm sure he didn't record that. <laughs> yeah, so it was Back more like, <laughs> and I listened to it. I still listened to it for about 10 minutes. I probably cost, cost my dad about 30 bucks, which was 750 bucks in 1988. Yeah. Uh, but Every bit of it. The, I, my dad's a a dick guy so dick. it's, it's hey. cool um <laughs> yeah nice. uh but yeah so i listened to this freddy krueger uh, and i did not get a nightmare i mostly got a funny story out of it yeah so oh, there you go sme says i can't exclamation raffle help have you uh followed the room sme yeah you do need to be a follower of the room it's free just click the follow that's how it indexes you and that's how we can contact and just you. if you see a heart on your screen yeah. click that yeah. Freddy or Jason, as in, like, who would win in a fight? Did, I think they had that movie. Basically, it ended up with I love Jay, uh, movies, Freddy yeah, giving man. Jason a bunch of nightmares, and then um, Jason's holding Freddy's head at the end, and then Freddy's eye winks, so nothing was resolved. I had a wink at, like, the really, like, at the I end. had Rob Zombie call my house once, but he wasn't scary. Oh, is it like a, um, like, like where you have a celebrity call? Oh, <laughs> Like how Cameo had, they can make this. Or was he just like, did he misdial thinking you were Papa John's pizza? Or does he just call you all the time and won't leave you alone? 
Is it Sherry? A Rob Zombie is is an actual human. He doesn't have to be scary all the time. Because <laughs> I'm a, I'm a big fan of Rob Zombie. Actually, yeah, I am as well. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. Rob Zombie. I got this <gasps> we just got, yeah, we just got him. I have not. I have not even. It, yeah. Yeah. I just I just got this. No, I'm sure. a bit of a horror nerd. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he puts on a hell of a concert too. Rob yeah, Zombie on great. vinyl. That's such a cool picture. On the oh, back. Billy, I know. I remember um, we saw a concert we went to, and he had the with the oh, one that the had the big robot. robots yeah. that come out. Yeah, that was that was so, that cool. Was so cool. I, yeah, I love that. me some Rob Zombie. Yeah. If I have to be a hillbilly, I'll be a hillbilly. Gosh. Yeah. Well, I have family that's from Pennsylvania. I don't know. What does that yes, mean? people. Yes, uh, so people are saying Freddie. I think like if pound for pound, if uh, I would say Freddie, I, I would say that Freddie would would win in a fight. I have not seen or understood enough of either of those franchises. Living really Dead Girl say. is a good song. It I is, love that. It is wonderful. And I yes. love the Caligari like video that was with it. Remember? Oh, dude. That was such. Jokey Mom video. says Rob Zombie was looking for a new drummer. He was calling. For my roommate, who was a drummer, Dude. I had no clue who he, who oh, he was at the, at the time. <laughs> this is like real wow. people. Wow, <laughs> cool, man. That's I awesome. would I would learn drumming in a weekend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I so, don't uh, really do, how to do drum. You, but... I, uh, do you need a drummer, Rob Zombie? Yes. Uh, okay, uh, I'll get back to you on Wednesday, and I would be awesome already. No. I'd pull out. I'd pull out the rock band and I'd practice the Beatles rock band. And my brother-in-law falls it. Professional. Dragula. Drummer. Yes. Dragula, Dragula on wax. Yeah. Absolutely. The wax vinyl. But I have not listened to it. Um, I wish I could listen to it on now, but that ain't how this works. Not, not during Twitch. So I just watched House of a Thousand Corpses. That is That's a that is good, movie. but it's, it is a pretty gross movie, too. Oh. Devil's Rejects, uh, like Devil's Devil's Rejects, Rejects yeah. which is the follow-up to that. Three from Hell and 31 just two days ago. Wow, so did you have like a marathon? Uh. But yeah, Rob Zombie's cool. And he's if you've ever heard him in interviews, he's just a he's just a He's a delight. Well, the thing is you don't know what to expect. You don't uh. know if he's going to be all uh, out there, but he always seems really collected and very uh very intelligent. Um not to say that a, a rock guy isn't, but I mean no offense to the room, but I think of like Motley Crue guys that are like, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't think Rob Zombie is like that. Same, why would you even and, put them in the same category? Or I, well, I'm talking about them? because he is, they're both rock, very, oh, uh, they're rock musicians. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I, so I, uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not into the uh, interviews. I'm not, I don't think I'm either. <laughs> Just after a while, the guys start, I, I start feeling like I'm, sort of violated you know like ah, i don't want to be around this person i like rz music uh, rob zombie he's he is not a good director sorry that's okay blob the the thing is with he's better than i am okay um. the, the thing about now here's a i don't want to say it's a problem with horror movies but it's something is i immediately go into a horror movie mm-hmm. not expecting it to be incredible because it is so very rare that I, I mean, not everything is the others, No, what, which is what a wonderful horror, horror movie. It's good. It's probably my favorite genre. Oh, it's wonderful. It I mean, would have to be my favorite. If you look at something good, like really Midsummer, which is. And, oh, that yeah. is a good one. Yeah, like yeah Midsummer is a good like example. That. What's that? I thought you didn't like Midsummer. I said it's unsettling. Oh. No, I, I like right. it fine. I, no, it, it's truly unsettling. Well, you never want to watch it with me. Well. <laughs> You know, you, I've seen it like three times oh, now. I, that's true. I, and there's many that's things I, you haven't seen once that I've very suggested. very true. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. You should watch Sinister. El, Sur, El Super Bisto is great, though. Oh, yeah. Super Beast. Oh, uh, that's Brandon Chinaman. Ah, uh, I figured. But, yeah, um, I know that... uh. Brandon's mom is uh, likes likes Mr. Zombie. Yeah. I think Rob Zombie's cool. It's it's it's, it's, it's a very His is also a very uh adorable he kind of has a a very 
well done masculinity mm-hmm. um, in his act. Huh. I, I not without being like without even approaching um, misogyny, really. I, I, you know what I mean? It's like it seems healthy almost. Hmm. I like how it's it's got a it's got a brute level, almost a werewolf sort of force. Yeah. Um, I, gotcha. I dig it. Yeah. I, yeah. Love Midsummer. My bar is always low with obscure horror movies. Yeah. I yeah. I agree. The thing is, that, but that's, is that very, good or is it bad? Well, I, I think sometimes horror movies, if they have a good concept, that will forgive like a low budget a million times. You know, it, it's like, so, I don't know. When things are bad horror because it's like a stupid monster or something like that that can be entertaining but if something's got a stupid concept or a repetitive concept i get tired of it really quick and i think that's why i don't like the freddy and jason type things but mm. i like a lot of you know not big in the 80 slasher no i i mean i don't know so jasmine michelle no. says hi i got all your books hardcovers oh. i want more okay raffle and and love your work here in new york city oh well, Jasmine, you got something coming up in New York, don't you? I do. I was actually supposed to be there this week if the silly pandemic wasn't happening. Um, yes, in New York, in Manhattan, right on off Central Park, is a lovely place called the Rays Gallery. And that is the painting I was working on. When was I working on that one? That Obdi- a couple weeks ago? Yes. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, I think. The one with the hummingbirds. Here's a printout of what it looks like. That's the one. Some of y'all saw me working on this one on... I think I did that... Did I do that as a paint can, like, for Patreon? I, yeah, I think you did a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Anyways, yeah. I finished... This is not the painting. This is the printout of it. But the painting itself is going to be at on October 15th at the Rays Gallery in Manhattan. They're having an opening that is RSVP only. It is called Taking Flight. It's a group show of the ARC award um, finalists and they are doing it for a fundraiser for the American Bird Conservancy and people who know me know I love birds and spend a lot of time birding and stuff like that. So I was happy to do a birdie painting and this is what it turned out looking like. The gallery has let, I know the show has not opened. The gallery has let us know that they have already received more than enough people wanting to buy the painting. Yeah, he basically called us and said and it's it's So sold. don't I, I guess don't keep calling the gallery and asking by the painting because it's sold. But it, if you want to go look at it in New York, it, the show opens on the 15th. And it, they are doing um, a live opening, but they're doing RSVP only. It is socially distanced. It's limited to how many people can be there. you do got to wear a mask. And unfortunately, I will not be there, but um, they'll, yeah, they I'll, have um, a handful actually, of wonderful I, artists who are going to be there. And I think I have the... Uh, work. Give me a second. I'll not put up a link. Person, but fantastic artwork. I think I have a link here. Artists are stuck. But yeah, if you have a link to it, there's some marvelous... Do you want me to yeah. do it to the um, or you just artrenewal.org, the blog to, post, or the raise Just website. go to raise.com. Okay, sure. Or whatever yeah, it's um, R-E-H-S.com. Yeah, I got it here. I have my links. They're I'm just going to pull it up. They're a gallery that does... The, like, they have crazy good artists. Yeah, it's, they have 18th good. and 19th century art like from Europe as well as a handful of contemporary artists. Too. Yeah, so I, whether being, you like old timey art or newer art, they got everything. They're incredible. I mean, it's uh, it's I would say it's it's of similar caliber to the Corey Helford, but some of it's just in like a lot of it's just insanely well, have, highbrow even. And, well, and, and, and that's and, because they have old stuff. It's too. how they have old stuff. It's they like, had a hey, Corbet. You, you said see a dolly or a Corbet, and you want to buy the original? They, yeah. I mean, they were doing an exhibition You're of very welcome, Daniel lady. Ridgeway Knight, which is just. And they did an Alma to, to Dima exhibit, and they actually like had them for sale. Shoot. And they're just like, Shh. I'm in good company up there. Yeah, if if you don't know who Alma to Dima is, you know who Alma to Dima is. Yeah. You, you just don't know, you know. Yeah. And everyone knows uh, Dolly. Well, that's very true. We've got seven minutes to the raffle. This little dragon looking cute. I see. I saw a little slideshow of me and the with I the Dragon Con folk. Is my um, screen working? Oh, yeah, darn it! <laughs> it's being a it's, it's being a buttercup it's, today, it's, isn't it? It is being one golly gee of a buttercup, man. One golly gee of a buttercup there. Yeah, I'll get the button. I'm going. I'll figure out how that to do that. Be a good idea. Yeah, just a little macro or something. Because then I could just go boom, boom. Yeah. 
and I'll get the big one, big screen back up. Err, let's go. Bah. All right, where were we? Uh, okay, yeah. So, words. Jasmine, you're working on you're working on oh, three minis, three and minis. <laughs> you've got um, it looks like two or um, getting. There's a lot of work done on them. Do you think you'll be working yeah, on the heart one tonight? I might do. That's one. Yeah, here's the one. I this is one I have not even really painted. This is one I must have started like. I think it's before I even did this as a pin design. It was. It's not even very realized yet. It was going to be a little painting. I think for one of the conventions maybe for megacon or dragon con i don't remember and i was like oh i'll do a little painting of that for the convention and then the convention didn't happen so uh, i've got like a little sketch i'm like oh i'll just paint it and put it on patreon how big are they oh they're just little guys i don't know i have very very small hands so this is probably not um indicative but a little so I think over three about by two three, inches by three two, inches three by four or three, three by, by three and a half something three, like that yeah i forget what they are something i can measure them real quick yeah. Here, yeah, you could, uh, you got a ruler? Yeah. Yeah, the F ton of them. You think I'd remember yeah. this? Been a, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little one. Actually, some of these, I think, are slightly different sizes yeah. because they're cut for different, different frames. Different but they're very close. This one is, looks like 2.75 by 3.5. 2.75. This one's a little bit smaller. This one's gonna be two and a half by two and a half by three and a half. You do have lots of rulers. Yeah, I told you. I ain't bragging. Stop bragging on your Stop rulers. On your ruler. Some of those cost like a dollar ninety nine. <laughs> Again, a Harbor Freight man. A harbor Freight. <laughs> a place rocks. It's something. I, apparently, when I say I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight or something to Jasmine, I have a specific hand gesture that I use before it's I say that. it. You point to like a certain part of the ceiling in in our house. You're it's like, like I'm gonna go, go to, to Harbor, Harbor Freight, Freight. right like, up there. You know, it's up in our it's up in our attic there. Yeah. Okay. Fun. But well, it's funny because when you say you're gonna go to Home Depot, you point over there. <laughs> but neither one is like in that direction. Really, Kalira says Harbor Freight is dangerous. Probably. Is that on it what those dangerous. are on what? Yes. It sounds like a way you don't want to ship a package. It's like, is this priority or is uh, this harbor freight? It's going to take six golly darn months. Yes. What used, What was that method that we used to sometimes ship with that was o overseas? I'm talking like 20 years ago. Was it called surf, surface mail? And it always went on a boat? Y yeah. And, and it, it, and it was, had the sticker had a ship on it. Yeah, and it took forever, and there was no way to track it. It was horrible. There was that, and there was, um, what was the other way we would send? Media mail. We used to be able Aww. to sell, send books media Gothic mail. Gothic says, I used to work at Harbor Freight. They're not nice to women. Or oh, I certainly don't go there. That's Aww. why Matt Or people of color, and I happen there. to be both. I'm sorry, Gothic. That's You sucks. know, you should shop at Lowe's. I, I Well, I mean. Lowe's I, is I, a black-owned business. I apologize. Business. <laughs> They're supposed to be a good employer. Yeah. But I, Man. I, I don't go to her. That put a damper on a conversation. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Gothic. I'm just joking. No, that's 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 good to let people know, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I. I don't. Did you notice any anything when we I went don't there? Even that, leave the house. Huh? That, uh, did you notice anything when we went there before? I've been there one time. Yeah. And I don't remember anything about it. I remember <laughs> confusing it with Home Depot. Oh, so. wow. <laughs> we were only in there for a minute because you we were trying to see if they had something. I can't remember what it was. Oh, you didn't kill I the mojo. It, it was it's a okay, bit. Gothic. It was a um, bit for um, uh, a CNC drill. We went there, didn't we? Um, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got um just a couple minutes. I got my little alert oh. coming up, and we will give away our oh, the print and the mini calendar. Mini calendar. And I'll fix oh, the screen. So that will be. Yeah, there we go. 
not work good. Okay. Yep. Very good. Okay. All right. So, do, 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 do. Now, trick or treating print. And miniature 2021 calendar. And this is the miniature wall calendar. Oh. We also have the. All right, so we just got, too. let's see. Got all sorts of things in here. I will pick a winner shortly. And I'll be happy to autograph both of these too. So you guys all win. Got a little bit of Okay, gonna dragon. pick a winner. Nice. CJ Tigger, Tigger won one. Really? Yeah. Yep. Hey, well they I think you won put before Tigger, in, haven't so. you? Huh? I, I said, I think you've won before, haven't you, Tigger? I think so. Or did her husband win? I Maybe. I don't I know. I don't remember. I usually don't see that side of it. A little hern going back there because that's a little hern here. There you go. He's starting to look a bit more watery, I think. Okay, I only I only mentioned the uh, the print in the message, but you will also get that mini calendar, don't you worry, in the yes. same package. Yeah. And then that means about an hour from now that we'll have the giveaway for the pin of the month, which the pin is pin of the month. Pumpkin spice dragon portrait. And thank you for putting those together, Brandon. Yes, Brandon, thank you very much. And they'll get a big calendar too. Is that what they that get? Is? A big calendar. Yep. A calendar. And both the calendars are just so sparkly. And you can cut them up and make decorations for your room after 2021's over, assuming it ever comes. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Little dragon. Now this will make more sense if I give them little kind of, not flippers, but kind of more like thin, like how like a fish would have as opposed to flying wings like a dragony dragon which is when i had them earlier when i was painting on the patreon cam where can i buy the calendars glad you asked sme i'll put the, up the links again i put them up earlier yeah. i don't think you were and in the they room are, um it's a they're published by a large company that sells stuff in bookstores and if you go to like whatever places can you even go places to buy calendars anywhere I don't know. if you go to places to buy calendars they probably have their, them there too or if you like go to a bookstore, they'll probably have them. I always see them in my house. Or used to before. Glinda says, what? The 2021 for next raffle? The what? pin and the large the pin 2021 the calendar. calendar. We're going to do this for the next couple weeks. Yeah, the next couple weeks until... Because usually they give us a, a, a handful of free ones like for samples. And we give them away at Dragon Con, but there is no Dragon Con. So I'm giving them away online instead. Yep. On Twitch. If I have any spares, like, I I'll, I haven't really counted to see if I send them. I might just give them away to Patreon people as, like, random Oh, I need to also. start the darn raffle. So, okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Hit it again, guys. That's uh -oh. my bad. My bad. I Everyone spam it. the room with exclamation raffle again. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Real oh, quick, uh, okay. Mind. Uh Real quick, Jasmine. Uh, uh, Michelle says, I had a double mastectomy last year due to cancer. Oh, I discovered shit. you last year. Your art totally cheers me up. Oh, thank you. I wanted to read that to you. Oh, before my you gosh. Handled. Thank you so much. I had uh, one Michelle, that's problems sweet. recently. I hear you. Thank yeah, you. We've, had, here with us. we've had our share of uh, troubles around here, too. Yeah. So we we hear you. That's not, mm. it's not any, but anything that cheers you up. If something makes yes. you happy, that is just that is anything that can enough for it to be there. warm your soul. Yep. All right, going to take a little pee break, and we'll be back. And you guys stay tuned and just uh, chill, and we'll uh, chat at you soon.
Alrighty, we are back. We're back. We're back. I I was uh I watched all seventeen Hellraisers. Yeah, yeah. It showed during me the break. Halloween one. It was great. When they play <laughs> Angie, I cry. No, <laughs> no one's gonna get that. No, that's all right. They don't have to. We were listening to the Rolling Stones, over. <laughs> we were listening to the Rolling Stones. We played Sympathy for the Devil. I guess that's kind of a... Is that a... Is that a Halloween song? <laughs> that's a rock theme. Or a, or a horror theme. A horror theme. How so? That's Devil? I don't know. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I am a new viewer follower of your paintings oh. i just want you to know i'm totally amazed at your ability talent you. to dive deep down into your imagination thank you for sharing it with us well, thank and you that was watching. alice for heaven's sake thank you alice i like hearing nice things like that <laughs> let's see i've been playing uh skyrim more lately and uh there's lots of dragons in that. There is. From what I've seen of you playing it, it seems very... It seems like there's a dragon every five seconds. It, it does kind of seem that way. It's like, stop. <laughs> at first I was like, I've well, enough it, dragons. Oh, there's a dragon and you saw it. And you're like, yeah, there, there's someone over there too. Lots of dragons. Yeah, I, uh, I became a werewolf in the game. And I told... And the vampires gave me the opportunity to become a vampire, but I told them no. Wow, I've been you and I are very different people, man. Oh, uh, these the vampires are kind of gross, though. Oh. I've been following uh, since your live journal slash Pizza Hut days. Pizza Hut. Hmm. Your mother worked at Pizza Hut. Mount's mother did. My mom? I, I never worked at Pizza Hut. <laughs> Maybe Dairy Queen? I worked at Maybe Dairy, Dairy Queen, Queen, Reaper. Is that what you I mean? Dairy Queen, probably. I was young. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think... There was a little bit... There was a time when I did professional artwork and worked at Dairy Queen as a kid. So maybe it's somebody I've known a long time. If so, hi! <laughs> but yeah, Matt's mo mother worked at Pizza Hut, so that, that was not me. If, if it's just a Beckett thing. It's, that was Matt's Rainforest mom. Cafe? I'm trying to think of what they're thinking of. Probably when I was a kid and I worked at Dairy Queen, maybe. Maybe so. But yeah, that's funny. My kids all just shouted yes as you mentioned Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Matt's the cool one. I, I have trained them Skyrim. well. Yeah, so my character um is uh I've got uh I think I'm level thirty nine now. How many levels and is there? I think you can get up to eighty one. Oh wow. Um, I'm I'm level thirty nine and oh, I'm is that not how I Train in one hand, one handed, uh, light armor, sneak, archery, and that's kind of how I roll. So I'm really sneaky and I'm really good with a bow and I can like backstab people for a million points and just so can I. slit their throats. So it's fun going around being the sneaky guy. I like being the sneaky guy in the in the game. And I made my own glass armor. I also smith a lot. That armor like you showed smiths. me that was malachite was very pretty. Oh, yeah. You like that? That was beautiful. Sneaky werewolf. I'm not sneaky when I'm a werewolf, though. Uh, Reaper <laughs> says, my, be my best Skyrim uh, build was super tanky and also super sneak snooky. It wasn't a good mix, but it somehow worked. It was super. Cool. Oh, tanky. I see. Yeah. Uh, it was Dairy Queen. That's what they're... Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's funny because Matt's had a couple family members work at Pizza Hut, and I was like, oh, wait, if they're just thinking I'm a Beckett, Pizza Hut Dairy guessing. Queen. Yeah. It, <laughs> it has two, it's a compound oh, man, word. I yeah. don't know. It's and, like 20 plus years ago, 30 years ago. Long time, 20 some years ago. And they're a Brit, so. Oh, okay. So say, I'm English. We don't yeah. have Dairy Queen here. No, but you have you You're have flake <laughs> flake in your ice cream cone stand. Your ice creams everywhere. are already good. You don't need Dairy Queen. I like Dairy Queen. I haven't been there for you know a few centuries. Well, see, but I yeah. don't really like ice cream, and they don't have any food I eat, so it's not. I don't know. Also, you should watch Gopher on YouTube for his Let's Play on Skyrim. Maybe I will. You watch you on YouTube. Hockey is a, a World of Warcraft World of Warcraft player themselves. Oh. Been playing for 15 World of Warcraft for 15 years. Wow, I bet wow. you. Um, I hope you're past like level 30. You haven't beaten it yet. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that game does not work that way. I, uh, let's see. I've not ever played World of Warcraft. I have played uh, EverQuest back in the day. And I have played Dark, uh, Age, of Dark Age of Camelot yeah. and Final um, Fantasy 11. And I think those are the the Never one. Neverwinter Nights. That wasn't. Neverwinter Nights is a. That wasn't was, online, was it? Well, it was supposed to be oh. like. Yeah. Kind of intra online. Yeah. I worked at the DQ in eleventh grade. Still a pro at working a self serve at restaurants. Oh. You got to get that curly. I am very good at making that. I, I can also. I'm very good at guessing how many ounces things weigh too, because we had to measure all of our ice creams. Man, the pink cam is being a, a buttercup today. Uh, I'm trying to think. You usually call me a buttercup. I thought it was something nice. Is it not? I don't know. Yeah, it's nice. I'm trying not to say something bad okay. and rather than giving it a compliment. To HMS Pinafore. My first job was at Dairy Dairy Queen. Then I went to Burger King. Ah, I don't know. Is that, that that's not so much a step up, but it's, it's a, a step sideways. Uh, yeah. it, it's a strafe. I'm thinking of chess. That's called job strafing, crispy. Huh? Job strafing. Job strafing. You so need to play The Witcher Three. I I probably I will. So I like the open true. world concept a lot, Kaza. So I probably will go to that. I've heard only great things, and it won it won like. 800 million awards or something blah 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 but yeah i'll check it out is it an online one or is it a no mm -hmm. witcher 3 is pretty fun absolutely amazing storyline oh. yeah skyrim is new to me but it's it's uh not to many of you <laughs> uh but it's fun it's a good game it's a, it's a, I would say it's a little bit too, I would say it has, the only negatives I would give is a too snowy. Too, too snowy? Too snowy. Like the, like the terrain is too cold? Yeah, like, it's, the weather is, oh, okay. the weather is too, the, yeah, the climate is awful. Well, it, it's supposed to be some more cold, isn't it? It is. Okay. I, I do not, per, I personally don't like that climate for, uh. for living, for, for visiting, like if you had Alaskan <laughs> cruise or something, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But I'm not into you the... You don't like cold weather. No. I bet my poor character's feet are constantly soggy. Yeah. Oh, I remember, like, rolling around in the snow or falling and stuff, and then that ice, you know, snow melts down your back and gets in your pants. And it's all cold water, and you're... Oh, I hate that I feeling. Don't... Yeah. Hate... Assassin's Creed is a lot of fun. I was also thinking... Actually, uh, Brandon and I were talking about, about that one. That, but there's that pirate one that looked fun. Um, has anyone played the... The piratey Assassin's Creed. It's got an. What's the subtitle to that one? It's called something. Uh, it's like a. What's the piratey sounding thing? Black mask. Black flag. Coat. Someone says. Okay, I was guessing. <laughs> okay. Black flag. That's a, like a, a roach killer, isn't it? It's a band. I live in New York. Yeah. Winter is overrated. It is gothic. Oh gosh. It's funny. The last time I was in New York, it was during flipping blizzard. Remember that, Maddie? We went to Central Park, and not like a single other person was there. 
yeah well, and that was time I almost, last. Th- that's that's one of the that times in my life where i almost punched a, another person <sighs> yeah yeah. That that oh that guy. That, but that was not our last visit. Mm. That was a visit. I was last. so mad at that guy. Yeah. Mm. He he mocked me for being cold. I almost. <laughs> it was a blizzard. It was like negative ten. It was snow everywhere. They made me. We tried to oh. go to the. <laughs> we tried to go to the Frick Collection Museum, and I had insisted on. Walking they told us from we had to go in the other and, room. Yeah. And they wouldn't let us in because I had too much ice in my hair, so I had to go to the bathroom and like dry off with paper towels. And I was like, I'll try to be fancy too. It was. It was not fancy. That was a fun visit, though. Mm. Oh, so Kazumaka says, uh, "Elder Scrolls Online, you get you get to see not just Skyrim, but." Um, the whole of Tamriel. Mm-hmm. You should have punched him. No, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't even even wanted to punch him. To be fair, you probably should have been cozy up in the hotel room or something. <laughs> it was pretty awful out. If it if it's cold and you're from Florida, pretty much anything up there is cold. I uh, yes. Yeah. No, this was this was like cold on a. It, it was it like, was bad. I, I'm not from West. Florida. This I'm from was, I'm yeah. from a no no. We grew up in the Midwest. We know yeah. So I know Stanley. ice storms. Yeah, and we know blizzards and ice storms and all the horrible, terrible things the Earth can do to no, us. No, there were literally icicles forming on our hair. Oh yeah, they would not let me in the building or in the the nice part of the building. And I, I said, Jasmine, you want to? She's like, No, I want to go. For, I didn't keep walking. Reminds me of uh, how Amber and Chris Chris complains about Amber's death marches. Oh, and it's much like your father how he does that. We're German. Shirk. Shirk sure, comfort for a, what <laughs> Com- might be an adventure, but comfort probably is not. the opium of the masses, man. Yeah, and people like opium. Uh, yeah, people like comfort. Ah, dumb camera froze. Ah, what it's is being it? extra bad. To... Is it because I have like three paintings going on? I don't is know. It just like confusing it? <laughs> see I will fix you you bad bad thing this one's getting close to being done and I started the, another camera program you like a really. dummy quit naming that everything OBS it's, <laughs> it's gonna say that's not gonna overwhelm the system is it no okay. no I, I, I killed it okay cool Thank you. I killed it. Thank Wales is cold. What well, you know? Um, the UK, the is UK cold, isn't that bad. But no, it, it doesn't not, compare to uh, to other. I can walk around London in the winter all day. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Um, Wales is is more north of that, obviously. But I've been. Is it? Sorry. Well, yeah. London's. You know where London is, silly. I do. It's. I mean, except for those beaches underneath it, it's about as south as you can get. And that funny, funny island. Fall is beautiful this year in the Midwest. Oh, hi, hey, Tammy, how's it going? Oh, hey. I'm so stoked for winter plan to do something winter paddle boarding. Burr, Katie, for be what? careful. What is it? Winter that? paddle boarding. Like in the water? Hey, um, Katie or Tammy, do you ever go up to Snow Creek? <laughs> oh, the, uh, Kansas people. They're, they're Kansas City people. Oh, okay. Sorry, I know like a billion Wisconsin people. is freezing. No offense. Wisconsin is freezing. They can. Wisconsin yeah, is can usually freeze. freezing, like even in the summer. Oh, it's, um, we uh usually have a family reunion that's very... It's on the Wisconsin like, border. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still haven't been to it's Wisconsin. Pretty... I remember um a group is like, hey, you know, we're, we're so close to the border. Do you, do you just want to drive this car out, and, you know, just to say you're in Wisconsin? I'm like... No, I'm good. <laughs> well, I'll just stay here. You know what's here. funny is one year we were going to do that and you oh, didn't uh, want to and it was flooded and they you, would, the police wouldn't let us through. Your mom says hi. My mom? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> that sounds like a vague insult. <laughs> J-Star Kitty. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, Mom. We're talking about Snow Creek, uh, Julie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she's joined us on here before. That's funny. I don't know. I don't usually see what the... This summer was decent. Well, that's good. It's funny. We were just talking about cousin camp and then your mom popped up. Yeah. (laughs) But it's at an undisclosed location, Julie. Yeah. We don't tell people specifics here. Wink, wink. 
<laughs> Hi, back at y'all. In, in and out so much uh, missing things, boo. 88 degrees in New Orleans today. Oh, New Orleans is my favorite American city. I like New Orleans. It's beautiful and wonderful there. It's usually pretty warm there. Yeah. <laughs> That's not true, actually. In the winter, it's pretty mild, usually. I'm trying to think. Yeah. They'll get, they've gotten snow a couple times there. I remember that I wanted to move there Yeah. before I moved to Florida. Yeah, because we were going to move there, and then we were going to move to California, and then we moved here. Yeah, all warm places. Uh, all places that do not get cold. You know, it's funny about thinking about, um, this is like the first year we haven't seen snow, isn't it? Like this past year. Oh, uh, thanks for uh, following us, Kira. It's 86 in Kansas today. Dude. And it's 86 uh, and windy in Lincoln. Oh, in Lincoln, Nebraska? you guys have a, yeah, Lincoln, oh. Nebraska. You guys have an awesome zoo. There. Sassy. I probably talked to you about That's it before. That's the Omaha Zoo. Oh, wait, yeah, duh. Lincoln, though, Oh, I almost has, went to college in Lincoln. Lincoln has a very good paleontological museum inside their college, doesn't it? Yes, that's where the Hall of Pachyderms is. Could you do more gothic southern graveyard paintings? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I will. I, I dig that, too. Kansas City has been super hot, high 80s, and tomorrow is 43 with possible Ugh. snow by the end of the week. Uh, yeah. And it's about 45 in Wisconsin people. right now. It's what? It's 45 degrees in Wisconsin right now. Mm. Let's see. I'm, I don't know what it is here. I'm going to check my dumb weather out. It was out. like 91 earlier. It's 82. Oh, that's not bad. The high was 89 today. It said it was 91 when I was outside. Well, maybe it lied. Probably. This is just the dumb one that comes with my phone oh it's probably not even the same city we're in uh it just says kissimmee oh sorry kissimmee but about a half hour we are giving away <gasps> the pin of the month which is pumpkin spice dragon portrait yep Woo! and then we're giving away the calendar the calendar the big of the two calendars The sparkly calendar. Ooh. Here's all the pictures on the back of it, of the ones that are in here. Oh, and Swept's in there. I forgot that. Aww. How about a grave grave digger as a pin? We that would be a cute pin. Yeah. She was, I'm trying to remember, she was on a piece of canvas and was a blue palette. Yes. I wonder if if I made her as a pin, I wonder if I would keep her all like in shades of blue. Or I could do a, a realistic one and a variant that was blue. Ooh, that's totally. a good suggestion. Thank well, you. Well, yeah, it's, it's obviously night yeah. in, in that one. Oh. Okay. So, um, what's today? Today is the 11th, and I'm trying to see if there's any, any famous people born today. <laughs> oh, uh... Uh, I'll just mention it briefly. Uh, kind of weird. Uh, Trump's dad uh, was born today. He's he died in 1999. Yay! <laughs> um, Luke Perry. He's also dead. Wow. He died in 2019. Oh yeah, I forgot he died. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. Um, Eleanor Roosevelt. Oh, she's 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 still all did all right though. She's doing great. Okay. She's, yeah, it's our Twitter. Uh, Joan Cusack's birthday. Yeah, I like her. Um, do they pick? Do they pick the pictures for the calendars, or do or do you? They do. The publishers do. Well, usually they like pick some, and then they ask me if they're okay, or if there's different ones, or whatever. But yeah, it's the, the publishing company that that prints them and makes them and distributes them and all that. And licenses them. Let's see who else on here. I'm, I'm not. This is a bad day. I don't recognize a lot of people. What is today's the eleventh? Today is the eleventh. So it was. There's a British activist named Emily Davison. Oh, the she suffragette. Maybe. Is she the one who jumped under the um? She died in 1913. Yeah, she died under... Did she throw herself under a horse cart? Or I think it was somebody else. <laughs> no, seriously. She was maybe. like a political activist, I think. Maybe I, I just know that the, um, sub, uh, 
suffrage happened there before it happened here. Women's suffrage. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. all I know about the suffrage movement as far as the UK goes. I don't know a lot about it. And then Downton Abbey. Wasn't Downton Abbey talk about it? Yeah. That was um, like a plot line for half a season. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Will there be anything new of Jasmine's at Disney for Christmas? For Christmas? I don't know. I have, they've just approved two of my new projects, like, this past week. So they are getting those, sh like, I'm actually mailing the artworks to them. I think they are planning on coming out with them after Christmas, so in January, for the Epcot International Festival of the Art Arts. But I am not 100% sure. Because they are still moving around the galleries in California, and I don't know if it's going, if it, if Wonderground's reopening when, and if it's going to be like inside the parks or if it's part of a different building or what's going on. So I don't know. We'll be surprised, but they are having me do even more stuff now. So it's all going to go somewhere at some point. I will let you know when I know. It's Daryl Hall's birthday. Of Hall and Oates. Oh. <laughs> For a second, I was thinking of Daryl Hannah. <laughs> Daryl Hall. Yeah. I, I not Daryl Hannah. Sorry. <laughs> well, I was just thinking about Daryl Hannah because we were listening She's to... She's a man eater. We were listening to dun, Neil dun, Young, dun, and I was telling dun, you about dun, how dun, dun, Neil Young dun, had married dun, her. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. Okay. Oh, Neil Young got married to Daryl Hannah. Yeah. That's that's weird news to me. Oh. I, I It was a little while ago, like early, like a year ago, or earlier this year. I don't remember. Daryl Hannah. Weird? I don't know. It just it's weird. <laughs> it's weird that Daryl Hannah is got getting married to Neil Young. Okay. She, well, I, I don't know why that's weird. Huh? I don't know why that's weird. Huh? Huh? No, it's normal. It's totally normal. <laughs> what was Jasmine's big break into the art world? Um ah. there wasn't one. I, I think it was it was, it was more gradual little... than you guys yeah, probably started, think. Yeah, I started when I was five I started like my website professionally doing this for a living when I was 17 and I just kept doing it kept doing it and and it's 23 years later and I'm still doing it so I, I don't think there was really a big break ever if there was nobody told me about it it just kind of slowly happened and is still happening Glenda says my boyfriend wants to join stream well bring him on in anybody yeah go for it see if there's any other people there was there's an actor that i recognize but i forgot what he was in <laughs> what's he what's his the name? name is let me find him know. again i don't know where are you let's see david morse m-o-r-s-e m-o-r yes like the code um hey my movie nerds in the room what was david morrison that we would know Sounds how do familiar. I share link? Um, Wait, what? How do Zelda? you share the link? You uh. Oh wait, are grab they... the hyperlink from your browser and send it to your boyfriend. Are they probably on a phone? <laughs> I don't know what sort of phone you're on, dude. Um, if it's Twitch TV backslash Jasmine Becca Griffith, uh, Jasmine Becca Griffith is yeah, my username. Go to they're Twitch on the and Twitch search app. Jasmine I mean, Becca Griffith. It might take about. Four seconds, but you could type it. I mean, I, I'll I'll put the I can <laughs> the put the URL, URL in there. The sure. Okay. Well, how are they seeing this if they're not in the room? Well, <laughs> there's the link. <laughs> I'm sharing. Let's see. It depends on what device you have. I see a share button here. Uh, it looks like an up, a, a arrow pointing up. Maybe you have that. Um. Uh, we Somewhere don't know, but if you're on your video game or your phone or your iPad, yeah, it's, your, there's like eight million different ways to watch Twitch, app, so I'm not, I'm not sure. Do you have a Mac? Yeah. Are you using Firefox? Are you? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh, we're at twitch.streamlink.geocities.gov. I have the huh? Twitch. Oh, oh, they're talking about a Twitch app. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so uh, Dark Hylian says, hey, I'm in. Yes, you're in. Cool, Dark Hylian. Welcome. I bet, I bet they like Zelda. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to start on this new piece here because I'm pretty 
close to being done with this one, but I want to, I've got a lot of white paint. For some reason that like takes longer to dry. I don't know why. So I want to make sure that's dry before I put any colors on top of it. So she's just going to sit there. This one's done. I pretty much finished her when I was doing my Patreon um, crowd cast. I haven't varnished her yet, but I'll do that soon. I'll probably wait until I've got a few, a few more of these done before I like scan them all in and give them to Matt to put on the website and stuff. Oh, Ocarina of Time is a fantastic game. We're talking about Zelda. Uh, the only Zeldas I've actually played myself have been Zelda 2, of course, and then um, the first Zelda. That's it. I think. Were there any other ones I played, love? I'm trying to think. Uh, think not so. that I recall. You, you watch me? Yeah. Uh, Dark Hylian, um, type exclamation raffle, and uh, if you're a follower, which you hit the little heart button, then um, you'll join the raffle. raffle. And this final raffle, or this is the second raffle, so this will be for the um, pumpkin spice dragon portrait pen and the calendar. I'll show that one more time. Keep it. You know, that's a good idea, Glenda. Um, you you bring in another person and you double your chances, right? Yes, you do. Hey, if you got like 40 friends, bring them <laughs> There's the calendar and there's all of the pictures in it. And I'll sign it for you and we'll send it to you. I, I you played live. and I've beaten Breath of the Wild, uh, Katie. It's awesome. Unless you're talking uh, dark. Majora's Mask is one that I've I failed on, and I kind of... You I never didn't, beat I, it? No, I Ooh. never beat it. I actually borrowed it from a friend, and I... It was... It's very difficult. It's a difficult game, and it was frustrating, and I was like, ah! <laughs> and uh, that's the one I, I kind of... Like, I like the Twilight Princess a lot. What's, What's that? that? Oh, I asked if you held, held resentment in your heart for it still. A little bit. Because you do sometimes speak not nicely, Majora's Mask. Yeah. Oh, the cute little fairy. But this is, oh, I it's definitely I the hardest the one. Pin's handy, but this was a pin design. Is this one I did for February? I forgot. I was really sick then. I, this is probably one I drew out for. Oh, night, like, Leela. Good night. Night, Leela. I have one of oh, Lunastar is Lunastar is your daughter-in-law. Okay, you've just tripled your chances. You're so smart. Glenda. Well, unless they're people who are their daughter-in-law, like if they oh, who won want it, one, would yeah. they keep it? Actually, if they won, maybe one of them collects pins and the other one wants a calendar. So Dark Hylian's asking, how different is Breath of the Wild on the Switch versus the Wii U? That is something I don't know. Um... I'm not sure, because I'd never played it on the Wii U. Ah. I've only played it on the Switch. There's two Glendas there. Oh, interesting. No Glendas, though, right? <laughs> I've never known anybody named Glinda like the witch. Have you? I have not. I bet there are some little girls running around with that name now, like after Wicked and all. I bet there's all of those in there. Yeah, um, I just, uh, for you people in the room, I just got my Switch uh, a couple months ago. Like three months ago, I think. And you wanted one forever, man. Oh, I, wa <laughs> I wanted one since, like, Christmas. Yeah. And it, they I just weren't, you... weren't available. Uh-uh. And people are, like, putting them on eBay and jacking the price way up. Hmm. I'm going to get more like a Valentine here. Yeah, I, I do hear people say that the games are pricey. There's so many that are cheap, though, and a lot of them go on sale at one time or another. So, on the, on the. I think, oh, clear. I think the switch is. I think the switch is amazing. Yeah. The thing is, um, so my brother-in-law Nick, for example, is like, oh. "Why? What's up with the switch? Why do Why do people like the switch?" <laughs> um, if you if you're a fan of Nintendo things, the switch is good for you. Yeah. If you just want to play fantastic games. You might want to go a PS4 route or a Xbox thingy. Um, I'm a Nintendo dude, so I like the characters, um, and I they remind me of my childhood, so I always go back to that.
the good witch joke. I get it all the time, says Glenda. Ah. Uh. Yeah. I get Kansas jokes a lot, as all us, <laughs> we people who used to live in, in Kansas. Uh, do. Yeah. yeah. I guess I never really, I mean, I never really had residence in Kansas, have I? I we Mm-mm. do now. Kind of. No, re- actual residence. Like, oh, or it says it on my driver's residence? license. No, I've never I had haven't. primary no. residence in Missouri. Kansas. I lived in Missouri yeah, the whole time it was my pres- primary residence, and then I have a home in Kansas now, but I mostly live in Florida. So What happens if you log out and happen to win the raffle? Watch the rebroad- watch the recording because yeah. um uh that's how you, you That's how you know. That's how you win. <laughs> so if you win um there isn't an alert or anything, it's it's in the room basically. Yep. So if you watch uh if you fast forward two hours We do it on the hour. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Then you'll see. Dorothy here, I roll. Yep. Exactly. I get people singing to me. Huh? Okay. Well, I get like Wizard of Oz jokes, of course, because of. What Kansas. kind of paint does Jasmine use? Well, let's see. Golden fluid acrylics. Yes. Usually, I just mix them with water. Put them on a plate. <laughs> Paint on wood that we buy at Home Depot. I make my gesso with plaster and Liquitex. Oh, uh, to Glenda they'd say, "Are you a good witch or a bad witch?" But that's what Glinda says. Yeah. So, my name is Nancy, so I get Nancy Drew jokes or Nancy from the Craft or Nancy Grace. That's another. That's <laughs> another witch. Yeah. I have the biohazard face mask, which I wear cool. into surgery last Monday. All Docs right. and nurse love it. Cool. That's awesome. That makes me happy to hear. Yes, Thank the you. Oz jokes if you are from Kansas City. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I could go on, but yeah. Well, Jasmine, you're a fan of uh, Escape from Oz. I am. With I also like Feruza Ball. Feruza yeah. Ball uh-huh. yeah. Which She's I just nice. mentioned, Nancy. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You're right. Creepy. I know. It all comes around. Feruza Bulk's been in, in exactly four films, but yet they come up all the time. <laughs> yeah, she's in a lot of stuff. I, I've only seen two films with I her. I remember back when I was I think, early I on eBay, like in the late 90s or early 2000s, she used to have an eBay store that like sold like new age stuff, like candles and incense and witchy stuff. And I always thought that was funny because she was in the craft when she was younger. Will Jasmine be doing any events at Disney soon? That's up to Disney. Um, they aren't holding a lot of special events that are for lines of people if they're, because they're concerned about social distancing. And I don't think they're doing personal appearances at this time for their artists. So uh, that's up to Disney when they want to do that. They've given me a few dates and they always get canceled because there's still uh, rules about um, safety and such. So... <laughs> We'll see. I'm sure I will do lots of events for Disney. The next one I know I'm doing for Charvelet is um, Epcot, January and February of 2021. I will be at the International Festival of the Arts here in Florida. And I don't know next time I'll be in California or at the Wonderground in Florida as far as Disney goes. But they'll probably start having me soon whenever they let people line up and stuff again. That's my guess. So Kate, Katie says, one awesome part about Kansas is you can get a driver's permit at 14, and by 15, um, they were driving themselves. I hate driving. Sorry. No. I, that, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's one thing about Kansas. Jasmine doesn't like driving. I can't drive. But I was born in Kansas. I just never lived there other than <laughs> having a studio there as an adult. I can I can hear Matt just fine, but Jasmine sounds far away. Um, Kalira, do you have? Are you on mono uh, with your? Instead of are you stereo. in stereo? And is anyone else having this issue? Because sometimes, if you, like for example, if you had earphones in, yeah, one ear would be Matt and the other one would be Jasmine. So if you have like a device that is playing like your phone or something that is set to mono, it will only pick up. Wonder oh, Clara says I have no clue. Okay. I don't know, Clara. Um, yeah, we can't see inside your house. If you're on a speaker or something, you might 
see if it has settings. If your you're balance. on a computer or yeah. a phone or you're on your... Can, can you watch Twitch on your Nintendo? <laughs> I know you can on um, PlayStation. I'm watching on the TV and Jasmine does sound quiet. Well, that's... She's more quiet than I am. Um, is she is. sounding quiet or does she sound like she's coming from... Oh, does it sound a, like a, a Calera technical fixed difficulty, it. or am I just... That's what oh, it was. Gotcha. They fixed their balance. Yay! And Jeanette says, I hear you both fine. Is, if up. one person out there can hear us both fine, then it's, then it's, it's y'all's not fault. us. Not mine. Yeah. If that makes any sense. That sounds like a jerk thing to say. That's Doesn't not what I, yeah. what I mean. But I mean that... Yeah. So, yeah. it's There's no technical support here, really. <sighs> Headphones on here, abs sound fine. Abs sound fine. Yeah. yeah. Abs. Get that Everything, ab roller out. Man. I do actually. Get those gutters. Get the the Oh yeah. Ribs, I got that, man. Ribs, ribs, ribs. Fades. Yeah. Truth hurts, we are tough. <laughs> so are the uh, new kids on the block. Hmm? They are they hang even. Oh, dear. they hang tough. Oh Maddie. Okay. Is anybody else's screen blurry? What the, my screen, my screen looks fine, and I'm watching the broadcast. I don't. Does anybody else have a bird in their yard? Because we have one in our yard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Sorry. So if your screen's blurry, I'm not sure what that could mean. Um. That could mean. I don't it might know. mean your windows are just dirty too, and you haven't cleaned them. So Clara said she had a brain fart. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Went right out the ear. <laughs> Sounds very unpleasant. That is a talent that I'm d- glad I don't have. I'm watching on the PS4 now, and the stream sounds quieter than normal to me, but I think that's more my PS4 settings. That's the thing is you can watch this through you can watch Twitch n- on your nine PS4. different, 900 wow. different channels. Yeah, that It is wasn't weird. like that earlier. I don't know. I mean, I could turn up Jasmine's mic, but then people would be like, Jasmine's loud now. Yeah. So. And then, the, yeah. Mm, no. I don't know. Fitbit bumping at me, man. What's that? Is it? Are we on the hour or something? My Fitbit's yelling at me. It that you're 50 minutes in and it's saying, "Hey, you'll ne- need to walk this this amount to get your steps." Yeah, I have to, <laughs> you don't wear a monitor around your waist that yells at you if you don't walk around every 50 minutes. Hmm. <laughs> No, I just got mine. Is your Fitbit doing it now? Yeah, it says I have 180 steps to go. Until what? So that, until I get 250 steps for this hour. See, I don't do my steps by the hour. I do like a bunch of steps at once and a bunch of steps at once. And well, a bunch of you steps do because you, because it tells you you are. It, it just it, it just alerted you to do so. It's just something you can turn off or on. Oh, well, I don't, that's what I mean. I don't want it to do that. I, <laughs> now it's fine and I didn't do mine, anything. I don't know. I don't know either, Wendy, don't but know. thanks for hanging in there. Yeah. It's a lot of computer stuff. It's like you just kind of wait a little while and it goes away. Yeah. Like car stuff or like taxes. I would, <laughs> USB ports are like that. It's like you plug them in, USB plug them out, plug them in. Like, Sometimes they don't work mm-hmm. and you just plug them in, turn something off and on. It's it's not an exact brilliant science. idea it was to use the same wires for data transfer as you do for electricity transfer. Okay, so Kaza says, oh, now so, I hear you both better. I was in my chat party, and it dumbs the audio down in applications. Oh, so, we, should, <laughs> we should come up with a list of all the possible oh, reasons. And have a and big old, yeah. have a macro, Maddie, like one of those buttons you push when people say, hey, it sounds funny, you know. It's, 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 it's it could be the camera button. trying to refocus itself. It, it does that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It does that to... Get, it uh, should be on autofocus. It's, it's a regular camera, so it should be like, if I touch it, it might focus yeah. better. It is... I love the camera, except for that <laughs> stupid freeze thing. It wipes out too... This one wipes out too easy, because it's like, otherwise I won't... If I don't have a bunch of lights right in front of me, this part will be too dark. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, uh, Glenda says, wow, I like the white paint effect. Oh, yeah. I, I want her to kind of look like she's... Since it's based off of a pin design, it's like she doesn't isn't doesn't really have any context for a background. So I'm gonna put just kind of some pretty shifting colors and kind of look like she's glowing a little. Jasmine gives a yeah. shift. Yep. And Jasmine, do you do you 
usually just use your own own shifts there? You don't take shift from anyone? No, I do not. Not bad. Man, that shift is crazy. You're the one who kept talking about night shift earlier. <laughs> just <confusing. laughs> Night shift? What are you talking about? Night breed? Oh, that was night breed. Now Jasmine's no, making up stuff. Sense. Oh, hey, night shift is a movie too. <laughs> it is, starring Henry Winkler. It's actually, yeah, I think there are two movies called Night Shift that I can think of. Yeah, uh, there's, well, if you're talking about Stephen King short story. I wasn't. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, there's okay. probably other Night Shifts. But yeah, the Fonz and Batman are in that one. Which Batman? Uh, Michael Keaton. Oh. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that was probably like a 1980 two film i'm guessing 1982 probably i'm usually pretty good at guessing yeah you are but something that came out in your lifetime especially because you could remember how old you were or something when did night shift come out guys in the room Let's see if i how close i am it's, well, watch it's gonna be like 1981 ah All right, guys, seven minutes, or, or even, maybe, yeah, around seven minutes till the raffle. Raffle, snap up on. 1982, I got it. Good job, Boom. baby. I, like, my mom was pregnant when that came out, and I saw the trailer, da-da-da-da-da, and it makes sense. Yeah, I I try to, that's, like, one of the few things been... I'm good at. <laughs> like, Aw, I saw then I might know but Night Shift is a Stephen King short story it's also a the name of uh, a group of short stories yeah an anthology yeah it is uh, there's like four of them but they may they may have come out with a a movie of it I don't know yeah it's yeah. one of his many anthologies yeah this twitch is going fast it is man yeah it is kind of Hey, you know this is... Hey, you know this, Jake. Hey, when is... Oh. Daylight Savings Time? They're talking about um, Night Shift. When's Daylight Savings Time? That isn't this weekend, is it? No, that would have happened. Mm, I don't know. When is, is Daylight it Savings? Weekend? Huh? No, wait. I bet it's not until, like, the very end. I bet it's November. Mm -hmm. It would be between the Saturday and the Sunday of... See that the I don't first know. Week of November? I can tell you when. Okay. It's, someone said November first. November first. Yeah. So I'm... between the Saturday and the Sunday of the last Halloween, turning into November first. Really? Are we Somebody doing said November first. Savings time. November first at two a two a.m. So on Halloween night. That's got to be confusing. Oh God. I'm good at googling. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> can't be arsed. I thought it happened on Halloween. I guess it does, Katie. That is, because that would be halfway in between the 31st and, well, at 2 o'clock in the morning. Man, I, the I'm getting all pouty and dumb. This year's dumb. This year's dumb. I'm doing my, my arm Screw thing. Screw you. <laughs> yeah. Are you flapping your arms around me, Addy? Oh, uh, thing gosh. where you swing your arms and they clap against and you let them all loose You up. know, I remember doing that when I was like two. I, yeah. do, that, I do that when I'm alone sometimes. I'm sorry. Ugh, hate it. I could not do it. Like, eh, meh. It's like, this year, 2020 is like a a teacher you hate. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, and you got, ah, uh, that one. And you got to go back to it. Like, <laughs> oh, man, it's to. third period. I hate that teacher. Ugh. That's when you need to stop going. <laughs> I wish daylight savings time would go away. I've heard a lot of people say Me that. Me too. Oh, yeah. I never effing understood it, and I never will. I'm sure it made sense when everybody was a farmer. What is your ideal Halloween movie watch list? Wow. I don't know. I'd, I don't you know, know. honestly, I'd probably be... just settle with, in with some Mystery Science Theater 3000. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. But as far as just I, I straight know, horror? Be, like horror, horror, or like Halloween-themed horror? Like. I, I totally know. was doing that, Luna. Like what? It says throws tantrum, stupid oh. 2020. Yeah, exactly. That is, yeah, that's what he was doing. Can we just set the clock back a half hour and leave it alone? Can we set that's it for? That totally makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Chris B, that is brilliant. I like your idea. You know what I love and I didn't realize until I went there? Just plain horror. I don't know. 
was India. Remember how India's time zones are like on the flipping half hour? Mm. Mm -hmm. Is this not, or did I misimagine I, this? It, it, I, 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 they it have is to a be very weird. strange place. Hi, y'all in India. But um, yeah, it's like every other country, it's like, this is two hours off from this. And India's like, no, it's actually 1030 here. And okay. Like, really? I don't understand. So two movies that I actually find scary, uh -huh. Event Horizon and uh -oh. The Descent. Oh, uh, the Descent is good. I like that one. Yeah. Event Horizon is... <sighs> Is, horizon, yeah, the same, it's you space know. horror. Yeah, you know, I, I like I all the when, aliens when films. Space horror actually. is done well. It is done very well. Yeah, I love it's, alien. It's creepy. Uh -huh. it's creepy. Yeah, it space can be, is scary. It, space is scarier than anything if you think about it hard enough. So if they get rid of daylight savings, I'd want them to get rid of the one that goes forward, but the one they are considering is the one in the fall, which doesn't make any sense. So, so they're gonna get rid of one of them, but not the other. So what if we, we just keep going forward Why? once a year? Can, Twenty-four years from now, we'd make a whole day. Can we I don't just know. Set it forward, like um, two those are or both something? terrifying movies, says Jesper. The Descent is amazing. I'm playing a game similar to The Descent. Ugh, Kaza. Like ah. in the caves or what? That could be scary. <laughs> huh. Two I more minutes. Thank you, Gwenda. I just looked up the descent. It looks good. It's fantastic. Dark. It's good. It's Australian. You know, it's made in Kentucky. Oh wait, it is an Australian movie. It takes place in Kentucky. That's wonderful, though. Uh, yeah, that's a good movie. That's um, no, oh, what's the heck? The game's the called The Forest. Interesting. Is it a video game or like a game like you it's get a, a flashlight and you run around in the woods? I don't know. Oh. Mm. I like a. Uh, I like a. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, I remember you playing that one. I never played. That, I didn't but see the Descent too. There's a Descent too. I, I don't think know. I'd bother. I'm not the descent, sure about that. The first that. one was really good. I, I just beat it with second. my cousin a couple months ago. Oh, Event Horizon is freaky. It is freaky. You know, Pan's Labyrinth is good. I uh, love Pan's Labyrinth. That's a good Labyrinth. horror movie. That's one of I would my add favorite. that to the list. That's probably one of my favorite movies I've seen in the past twenty years. <laughs> that's a good movie. I love Pan's Labyrinth. I like Until Dawn. Great game. Yeah, I'm not going to know the game. Uh, I'm pretty much just going to focus on Switch. It sounds like, I think you guys are talking about a lot of PC games. A lot of Or maybe what? PlayStation games. Oh. I'm just not going to bog down any computer I have with a game. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was going to say. That's my little message, so we must Switch be close. Is it that? All right, that means uh. that... Oh, wait, somebody's going to get... Um... Price. Yep. And it's the um, dragon pin and dragon calendar. Okay, I'm going to pick the winner. Ooh, who's going to win? If you already have one of these things, you can give it to your Marbles friend. 84. Marbles or marvels? Marbles. Like, I've lost my marbles. Cool. Now, let me put the little message. Marbles. Now, um, in the message, you're going to see uh, it just mentions a pin, but I will send that. Big old calendar along with that tiny, <laughs> tiny pin because I'm insane. Super ship man. Yep. Didn't Marbles win before? Uh. They win at Marbles? I used to collect Marbles when I was little. We'd find really old ones in our yard. Because there used to be an old school that was on our property way back right. in the day. There are the instructions in the room there, marbles. I lost me marbles. Yay! Hmm. All right. With the blue. So now... Hour back. three is now this those of you new to the room <laughs> what we do on hour three is pretty cool now I'm gonna list the um, that's a prize wheel so I'm gonna list the prizes that we have um, a print of the week we already know about that mm -hmm. um, the a mystery pack pin set really yep cool. that's in there a 10 by 10 canvas mm-hmm uh, and that's, six, like and that's an pick, open edition canvas. They can they get to pick whatever one. They, they want. Yeah, I work with them. Oh, okay. it, it's a, a couple of emails back and forth. <laughs> okay, gotcha. It's okay. I've done they a get ten. To pick what picture? Is yeah, what I'm saying. yeah. Okay. A sixteen by twenty, or it could be an eighteen by twenty-four. Oh, 
them. Um, depending, sometimes we, we have them in a one size, not another. Um, mini metal pin set one, mini min, two, mini metal, <laughs> three and four. We've got number six. Forever Strange, the book, which oh. is beautiful. Halloween coloring book, which is apropos. Yeah. And an original painting is actually on the spinning wheel. Yeah. Now that is, <laughs> now you think, dang, well, I can kind of, there's chances, there's odds for each one. So, for example, if I were to spin it now, mm-hmm. after I'd pick a winner, this is theoretical. No one's winning Nobody's this. Nobody's winning another I, We would see what no, they'd win, this theoretical ghost of a work. person. Yeah. They would win, and I'd spin the wheel, and they would win a, right. Right. Mm-hmm. a portrait pin set three. Uh, and that's a uh, m- many mil from threat. Which are hard to find because they sell out. They are. Yeah. You can't so, like go buy one, right. for example. Yeah. But I have a few locked Matt's away. Matt's got some, apparently. Like yeah. Gollum. They're numbered. So you can't like be making fake That sort of thing. I number those. So yeah. there is a chance to win an original painting. I, yes. I, I imagine Jasmine would probably take one of those ones in front I of her. I would probably give you one of these because all my other <laughs> paintings done. are like, Also, you get it a lot sooner. Old, so, yeah. If somebody does win an original painting. Unless I give them a really big uh, one just for the heck Foxy of it. Gamer, um, uh, right. the last raffle a couple minutes ago, the winner was... Marbles. Marbles 84. Marbles 84. Mm-hmm. And they're going to get a new calendar. That's pretty cool. They get to know what day of the week falls on what date of they, the month. They'll know if there's going to be a blue moon or if Halloween is a blue moon. Oh, my God. So it's a blue moon. It's Halloween. It's full moon. And it's daylight savings time. Armageddon. Holy cow. Legageddon. It's it's that, went, it's went from arm to Trisha leg. It's too. Legageddon. Wait, no. Sunday after that. I am quick. terrified of Legageddon. Okay. Hmm. I need a t-shirt that says Legageddon. I like Armacy. Yeah, me too. Everybody needs one of those. I got me one. So, welcome to Legageddon 2020 <laughs> in 20 short days. Yeah. Oh, shoot. No Why are they sl- any shorter than the other? <laughs> Why do people... 20 I... short days. <laughs> the days coming up are always short. That's why can't they be twenty long horrible days? Uh, twenty long. Horrible Did I reset days. the raffle? Oh my gosh! Maddie. Hey, that's why I have people in this room. Okay. Is that why? I always wondered why you invited people to my Twitch all the time.